Hey everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and in this video I will show you what to do if the Norton VPN is not working properly in both Windows 10 or Windows 11. But before we dive in into any solutions, make sure to always restart your VPN application or simply restart the PC, as sometimes this solution works wonders. But in case it's not working, the first solution that you should always take in consideration is to troubleshoot the internet connections. To do this, press the Windows button, then select the settings icon and afterwards make sure to click on system on the left pane and then on the right side scroll down until you find and select the troubleshoot category. Now in here click on other troubleshooters and afterwards simply click on the run button next to internet connections. Now Windows will try to find any possible issues and fix them immediately. Then you can just close these windows, restart your PC and check if the problem still persists. Another useful solution is to simply make an exception in your firewall. To do this press the windows button then simply type firewall and then select windows defender firewall from the search results. Now in here make sure to click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall on the left pane and afterwards click on the change settings button to actually make the changes. In my case I have a vast so you can try it with your Norton VPN application so click on it and then make sure to tick the boxes under private and public sections. Now the last thing you have to do is press on OK, restart your PC to check if the problem still persists. Another useful solution is to change the DNS settings. To do this press the windows button then simply type network and then select view network connections from the search results. Now in here right click on the network that you're connected to and select the properties option. The next thing you have to do is scroll down until you find the internet protocol version 6 and double click on it. Now in the DNS section make sure to tick the box next to use the following DNS server addresses and afterwards in the preferred DNS server type in 8.8.8.8 .8 and afterwards in the alternate DNS server type in 8.8.4.4 .8 .4 .4 and then simply click on OK. Afterwards just restart your PC and then you can check if the problem is solved. And lastly another great solution is to simply reinstall the WAN mini port drivers. To do this right click the Windows button then select device manager from the list of options. Now in here in the device manager window make sure to expand the network adapters by double clicking on it and afterwards right click the WAN mini port iKey v2. Now select the uninstall device option and afterwards confirm again by pressing on the uninstall button. You can then restart your computer and you'll see that the driver will automatically reinstall. And that's it. Plenty of solutions to consider. As usual, for more information and details, you can check the article in the description below. And if you enjoyed this video, just make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.